Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we start, I'm going to tell you something. These 10 cap cut hacks are not only just tip. It will improve your editing skills whether you are a beginner or looking to get better. This video will make a good difference. So without wasting any single second, let's jump into the tutorial. So the first feature is link and unlink. So if I added a video like this and if I trim my video here, okay, now I will add a text layer. Okay, it's done. And now if I click this button, so our text layer will be connect with this clip. So now if you move this clip so you can see our text layer will follow that clip because it's linked. So now I will show you something. So as you can see our text layer is linked with that clip. So if I delete this main clip so our text layer will be automatically delete with that clip because that was linked. So now I am unlinking that text layer. Okay. And now if I delete this main clip so our text will be remain on timeline as you can see because it's unlinked now so this feature will help you a lot when you work on a project to arrange your clips with the stickers music and text layers and the next feature is adjustment preset so i have imported a bike video as you can see so we will do color correction in this go to adjust and now i will increase brightness a little bit okay now saturation okay now sharpen and little bit wiggle it okay it's done as you can see i will choose filter 10 okay it's done and now you can see the difference so the main point is that 90 percent people don't know that they can save their adjustment settings as a preset in CapCut. just go to preset and click on save as a preset so these settings will be saved as a preset to use into another project so it's saved successfully as you can see preset 3 so now i will delete that adjustment layer to import it again now go to adjust and click on presets okay now i will select this preset 3 which we have saved so as you can see our preset is appear on timeline so you don't need to do color corrections again and again you can just simply import your presets in just one click in CapCut. so next i will show you some latest ai features which is very helpful so i have added a picture so we have some advanced features like ai expand ai remove ai replace so i will choose ai replace first and click on the second option and i will brush on his head like this okay and now give a prompt like this so i will give brown hat okay and just click on the generate button and it will generate a hat so it's generating now and boom as you can see we have four variations so you can select as your preferences so i will select uh, this one it looks amazing you don't need to go any other third party websites you can do in CapCut. and now we will try ai expand so i will click on it and you can select the ratio according to your platform so i will select this one and hit the generate button it will take some moments to generate and okay as you can see the background is so realistic it's not look like generated by ai it's seriously amazing okay so now i will try ai remove and i will remove this person from this image so just brush on it and okay and just click on remove button so let's wait for the results so i hope this will be better like previous one okay it's removing and whoa as you can see the background image it's so clean nobody can claim that the person was there it's totally amazing than all other ai remover websites it's amazing so the next one custom text color 90 percent people commenting me on instagram that how you change color in the middle of text so you just simply select your text like this click on style and select your color so as you can see it's a very simple trick but uh, it's a hidden also you can select this one and you can also select the color so you can change your sentences color uh, according to you in the middle in the last in the front and it's good okay next one is round corner there is no official method to round your corner of your overlays like video and image but you can do with mask so i am adding an image and now go to mask option here it is click on it and you have to select the only rectangle just increase the size and width according to your image or video just pull this icon back side so you can see your round corner image and video is ready you can do with stickers you can do with videos and you can create icons also so the next one is optical flow well it's like motion blur or even better so if you are edit car videos or dance videos so you have to choose the optical flow in your videos just go to this option video quality in this option you will get some features like image quality it's like an enhancement so you can increase the quality of your video in CapCut. you don't need any other application just increase up to uhd and now i will show you the main option is optical flow just increase the optical flow according to your video so i will keep on 60 and just you can see the optical flow is better than motion blur it will smooth your videos like a pro 
and the next one is custom tracking so you can track your objects text layer shapes stickers and much more in the video so i have a video where a person is playing with ball so you have to just select the camera tracking this one just click on it and you will see two options so you have to choose camera tracking here you will get four options you can track face you can track body you can track hands but i will choose custom because i want to track this object which is ball you just need to point this box with your tracking subject like this and now you have to click on track button and it will track your object in the video like this so as you can see it's perfectly working you don't need any complex software for this next one is text to audio most of the people using 11 labs with a subscription to generate ai voiceover but you can do with CapCut in very easy way just click on this text to audio button then just type your speech or script here like this okay now we have some more options like ai writer improve expand so i will use expand to because i don't know what to type so it will automatically customize your sentence in a good way so it's good so you just click on replace button and you can see your voiceover is generated with CapCut. you don't need 11 labs or other applications so here are lots of voice you can select anyone so i will select adam which is very popular on 11 labs also and here you can see the voice but i will not play because of copyright issues so you can generate text to audio with captions in CapCut. and the next feature is loudness adjustment so most of the people also don't know about this feature if you have added multi clips in your CapCut timeline like this so if you adjust the volume like this i have increased the volume of this clip and other clips are normal value and sometimes you have to increase the loudness of your main clips because of sound effects and music so you have to do one by one but no you just need to adjust a single clip loudness like this and just click on the loudness adjustment button so all other clips will automatically fix to the same loudness level and it's a time saver hack and now i will bet on this feature which is multi-select it's so underrated in CapCut. suppose you have added some text layer in your project and want to delete them all because of some project issues so you don't need to delete or customize them one by one you can choose this feature multi-select and you can select your text layers to delete them in just one click just scroll left side and you will see a delete button just click on delete and it's done in just a single click i hope this 10 CapCut hacks will help you a lot in your project so if you really like this video just like this video share with your friends and subscribe for more tutorials like this Thank you.